Peter says, hi, folks. I have a question running MS365, and I have 120 email accounts. Uh, our help at it is 90 gigabytes. Cool. Oh. Um, how are people archiving accounts that large? Are they doing it via PST, via POP on a local Outlook? Well, not by a POP, but by a PST that works out just fine into whatever storage facility you've got. <clears throat> You can do that from virtually any type of uh, any type of Outlook mailbox. You can create a PST file and just export everything in said mailbox into a PST file, which is a perfect, nice, concise, complete little backup. Um, and in some cases, um, it's better if you can drag and drop stuff. But uh, there are some little insignificant things like dates and so forth that often get changed when you do exporting and importing of PSDs. But that notwithstanding, all of the email remains intact and complete. It's a complete nice little backup. And yeah, that's the way to do that and then store it wherever you want. But you don't have to be in a pop account. Uh, how, you how can create a PST from any file, account. How big would that PST file be for 90 gigs on a single account? <laughs> yeah, I'm, my my point there is one, it'll take some time. Yeah. Two, I mean, even if it were a one to one, I don't, I, I think there's the compression that happens there with the creation of the PST. It doesn't remain that large, but it's still going to be sizable. You still need to have the space available. Well, to be sure, that's the thing. Yeah. It's it's going to be at least that size, if not perhaps a little bit larger, because there really isn't compression. It does. It is <coughs> encrypted. Not well, but encrypted. So let me and see. So it will grow in size somewhat, but mm. it, uh, it seems to me that a standard, the current version PST file can be something on the order of a, a couple terabytes. So <laughs> that that raises a question then, because I remember when PSTs they told you not to go over two gig. You know, there right. was at one point it was yeah. like, hey, two gig is the limit. Actually, don't don't sure. do it. Um, but anyways, when you get to the point of having a PST that's even, you know, maybe we'll talk 40 gig, okay? Um, we're not even talking the full 90 of the question. Well, you create the PST, and it's in a somewhat compressed format. It's encrypted, plus it's, you know, a little bit of compression there, not much. It all depends on what is in there, right? Because you have the text of the email, but you also have attachments. Um, and if the attachment is an uncompressible TIP file, for example, um, it's going to have the entire file there. It's not going to compress anything. Um, number two is when you actually get to the point of attaching it back to Outlook and trying to uncompress it, that can take a while. Okay. Indeed. Um, and like Hal had mentioned, you have the option of doing the, you know, uh, drag and drop. So I have tried that before and I literally had maybe a couple thousand emails in my, in the inbox. And if you're on a machine and you hit the first message and then you hold your shift key and scroll all the way down to the last message, it takes forever. <laughs> and the machine looks like it's actually locked up because it's it's actually got a it's actually got to hit every one of those messages. When you select a message, it has to has to actually, you know, make a, a, a pointer to every one of them in order to do the copy. And then it all gets put into a huge clipboard blob, <laughs> which consumes a whole bunch of memory. <laughs> so you're really not doing yourself, a, a, you know, a service by doing, you know, something like that. It's almost. I was gonna kind of ask. There, I don't. I know there's not a short answer to this, but like, you know, what what is the best practice to not let it reach that size? What should this <laughs> you know, the, this team, what this person should have been doing. Hey, healthy Break it email. Into pieces. That's about yeah. all you can do. And you can do that. You can actually, you know, move and it into another folder. The, yep. Go ahead. I was off on the sizes. It, they come oh. defaulted at 50 gigs, and you can increase them up to 100 gigs. PSC files. I don't know why you'd want to, but okay. <laughs> That's a large PST, folks. Yes, it is. <laughs> I wouldn't trust my if you know if it's data that I had wanted to keep. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. P 
Peter, it's time to uh, good luck with that. Number one, two, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, might want to do something to proactively, uh, you know, clean that up, not wait till it gets to that size. But well, and there are third party tools. I mean, right. a good example, you know, I've used like Veeam. Veeam has a great tool for backing up 365. And they have a really awesome tool. You just select the mailbox. You can go all the way down to the folder level. You can go to the message level and back those up. Um, and it, it creates incredibly small backups because it it puts its own compression algorithm on, you know, when it does it. It's not creating a PST. It does its own compression. So it's not using that internal Microsoft thing. Um, so there, you know, there are other third-party tools uh, that you know do it as well.